Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Mithun Technologies. In this video, I am going to show you how to install the Git in the Red Hat Linux server. So, for this one, first we need that uh, one Linux server. So, I have created that uh, one EC2 instance in the my AWS account. Okay. So, let me connect to this particular server. Okay. So. I have created one EC2 instance and I have given the name as git server. So let me connect. So take this server public IP. So open any SSH tool, either putty or terminal SSH EC2 iPhone user at the rate IP address. Which IP of that particular server take that type IP and execute. So very first time you are connecting, so it will ask, are you sure want to continue connecting? Just say yes. And it is going to ask the password of EC type and user. Just type the password. Okay, so now we have successfully logged in. Just you can type that you name command for confirmation. Yes. So it is displaying that output is Linux, means we have successfully connected to the Linux server. So if you want to know which version of uh, which distribution of Linux you are using? Just execute that cat slash etc slash star release. It will give that which distribution of Linux you are using. So we are using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Okay. So before installing, just you can check that uh, whether Git is already installed or not. So Git iPhone iPhone version. This is a command to use to check whether git is installed or not so git is not installed okay so if you want to install that any software in the linux server so first we have to log in as a admin user okay so in the ec2 instance if you want to log in as a root user we are going to use the sudo su iphone right so then you have to install some group packages so for that one okay we have to use the developer tools group so if you want to install any package we are going to use a ym command so all these uh, commands i have documented and i have created one blog okay so one post in my blog so just follow that one see here i have created a one post i have uploaded here so first login as a root user and go to the opt directory okay cd slash opt directory then you can install this particular group this is a group name okay so development tools is a group name so using the m command you can install that particular package or group also group is nothing but uh, it contains some required development packages so this is one group name it contains some development packages okay so what are the packages it contains if you want to know just execute that ym group info and group name you can mention okay so if you want just take this group name before installing this group what are the packages are available just execute this command ym group info and give that uh, group name so it will display that uh, what are the packages under this particular group it will give if you see here default packages okay see mandatory packages it is giving that okay so the group name is development tools so if you install this group it automatically it is going to install all these packages so let me install that particular group okay, using the m command yvm group install okay group name and confirmation if I so if you install specific package just we use the yvm install that package name and i find that so it is installing see many packages it is installing it will take some time <clears throat> okay
it will take some time because we are installing that n number of packages right under this development group Yes, it is installed. Okay, then now you can install some dependency packages. These are the n number of packages. See, yum install. This is one package name. This is another package. This just install these packages. Now we are going to install that uh, wget package. Okay, so you can install this along with this one also. This time maintaining another step. Okay, so why we need to install the wget? By default, wget package is not available and means not installed in your uh, EC2 instance. So we are going to download that git software now. If you want to download any software, we are going to use the wget command. So now I want to install that um, version 18.0 so if you want to install a different version so here you'll see i have one url open this url okay see here the latest one is the version 2.25.0 okay so if you want this one see here zip file is there tar file is there so right click on this one whatever that version you want okay copy link location and you can use that wget command and you can download so now in this video i'm going to install that <coughs> version 2.18.0 okay so you can use this so it is downloaded you can see if you want this software is downloaded here okay now you can extract it for extracting we are going to use the tar command it is <clears throat> see it is extracted okay so now we have to go to that particular directory after extracting cd okay now we are in this particular directory so git so now <clears throat> we need to get that all the dependencies whatever it required for this installing the git so configure command it is going to get that all the dependencies it requires to install this git okay. we are going to configure to a particular specific directory then now you can execute this make install okay so what it will do this make install command it is going to keep that all these binary files in the correct directories okay <clears throat> make install command will copy the built program and its libraries and documents to the correct locations that's all so for in this command it is going to get that all the dependencies whatever it required for git it will take some time <clears throat> so <clears throat> instead of all these commands with a single command also you can install it how yum install git iphone y if you install in this way what will happen the m command it is going to install this package 
git package from the m repositories in the m repositories whatever the version it is there it is going to install but i want to install some specific version so that time you can follow my script okay so let us if you follow my script so what we are going to do whatever the version we want to we are going to download it from this particular github repository url right so that you can install it we are so git is in developed using the c so that's why we are uh, compiling all these things we are taking care of here is successfully installed now now we can check it git fn fn version yes now we have you can see the output git version 2.18.0 so if you want to install different version go to the git okay take that uh, or either zip or tar file and you can install it just we are going to replace this url here duplicate this url we are going to give that's it here okay so if you have any questions you can reach out to this number or this mail id and you can follow that my youtube channel we have uploaded many videos just you can open the youtube just you can search with here mitten technologies devops okay so here you are going to see one channel name click on this one and you can subscribe it okay thank you for watching videos